All right, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is David with Faramir's Rangers. We're bringing you the next part of our Austria all-out war campaign where we declared war on every single nation before the end of turn one. And we're uh, as obviously playing Austria, which has been a bit of a struggle at first, but we've creeped and crawled and moved and shifted and we've got pretty much most of central europe under control we're expanding to the west we took france now we got spain portugal even and uh yeah we even took gibraltar but we have lost some regions in the south namely to the russians so we got some work ahead of us this episode we're gonna start that off with the battle in the east Against Poland. We're we're going against Poland, and let me tell you, we're going against a, a lot. So there is a lot coming into this uh, battle that we're going to have to do. Not only do we have to kill the garrison, but we also have a couple stacks that are uh, going to be coming in to reinforce. So this is going to take a lot of time. So let's get to it. All right, so you can see here we're already putting a pretty good beating down on the poles, but they don't have just one reinforcement army. They don't have just two. They don't have three, but they got four reinforcement armies coming in. And we got to kill off units, so we want to do that as quickly as possible so that these reinforcement units start coming onto the map. There's already one making its uh, way on. And uh, as we kill off this cav that's uh, coming at us, that will help. And we also want to kill off as many of these guys in the wall completely down 100%. Not just routing, not with just one man, but we want them completely gone so we can uh, start having some of these reinforcement units coming on. Unfortunately, like this cav that's routing that just went off into the background, it's going to take time to get the reinforcements on, especially when they return from routing like that one did. And uh, when it does come back and we do route it again, we still have to wait for it to leave the battlefield before the next unit comes on. So obviously this is going to be rather difficult to say the least, even the most. All right, so we got another cab coming on. That was one of the reinforcement units that came in directly behind our little defensive perimeter. So we know one of the reinforcement spots here. There's four of them. Here comes that unit that had uh, uh, reinforced from the other spot. So there's several. My stupid line infantry is going to get completely demolished there because he didn't get set up. He was all cattywampus. And you can see we've knocked out quite a bit off the walls. Most of the guys up there we have killed. They're just laying down on the, the walls of the fort now, taking a nap, long slumber, if you will. And you can see there's quite a bit of units that are already starting to make their way on. And we want to get them in, get them out, if you get what I mean by get them out, uh, so we can get the next groupings in. So, yeah, this is uh, this is what we're up against. It's not time is the factor here and we're already three uh we are we are already a quarter of the way past on this and what i'm doing here with the little 50 man unit is i got him on the walls there as we killed one more of the units on the walls i got him over there to try to draw some units over to me some of the ones that were going into the uh, fort and we did we got a general's bodyguard coming at us and that's good because we can hopefully whittle him down to where he uh, takes a nap with the guys on the wall, if you know what I mean. And uh, we got rid of that unit, and this is a little bit further in. We got um, our general running down some of this artillery that's coming in. Most of those reinforcements that you saw before, they're already in the fort. And getting our general to run him down is uh, going to help out quite a bit. That'll bring on the next unit. Unfortunately, all the units that did come in, they're all the way on the other side of the fort. So we're gonna make a journey to that side of the fort. So we can start getting some of these guys whittled down as well. 
And that is also going to take some time off the clock uh, because we're not able to get any hits on them. But our shifting should hopefully draw some movement from the AI. We'll see how it goes. You can already see some units starting to move and jostle about where before they were just sitting still in a, in a very deep slumber. All right, so as we're moving over there, we did get, uh, I believe, a couple of the Polish units that uh, did try to come out. Nope, they didn't. But they did get an excellent shot off the wall there, hit two of my artillery pieces, which is actually three of them, routed three of my artillery. Hopefully some of them come back. We already got one that's come back. Um, now I got another one that came back. The other one, yeah. We got to set up a little bit of defense to get these routing uh, artillery back towards my line so we can get them set up so we can get them starting to shoot. But you can see here at least what my idea was, was to uh, come to this side where we can start getting some shots in on them. It has worked because as this cab is snaking around as I'm talking, um, it has worked because we already got three line on the wall there at this corner. So it looks like my theory is going to play out, at least it should, as we get these other two beaten up artillery units. It's most unfortunate that that unit on the wall was able to get some really great hits on three of my artillery units. Man, we already got the two full strength ones uh, laying down some some of the wood on these uh, guys on the walls. These reinforcement units coming on, if you see the time, you'll see how much we're almost at three quarters of the way in. And I'm starting to feel the pressure to start getting some work done. I know I've gotten a lot of units killed off. I just don't know how much. So, and I still got a lot to kill off in the fort. So I'm making a push to try to kill these guys before they get in the fort. Because if I can get them routed before they go into the fort, um, it, it's a lot easier, to, obviously, to route them because they're not going to have the uh, forever morale as they would in the uh, in the fortress. So, I got the uh, one unit already followed into them. I've got another line infantry setting up to block them, um, and now I'm going to start moving on the next one. We should have really great shots coming from this line into him. The other one only got 19 kills. And uh, this one is from the first rank has already gotten some. I mean, it's damn near point blank. How can we miss? It's starting to route him out. 80, we got him down to 81. So it's, he is actually going to the square as well. So this is, leaves him very vulnerable for my grenades. So we should be able to kill him off. And the other unit we've already got uh, one line infantry to volley into him. The other one is uh, volleying into him now. He's already starting to waver. I'm bringing the general over because uh, I'm anticipating these both going. And I'm going to try and run them down as fast as I can um, to bake me a cake. Uh, no, no, that's not it. We're not doing the baker, man. But uh, I want to get these guys gone as quickly as possible. Again, we got to get these uh, reinforcement units on the map as quickly as possible. So we're sending the general off so his slow horses can get to it. And we almost routed this one. We, can, we should be able to run him down with the line infantry. And on the walls, you can see I've almost got another unit completely gone. Still three more men in it. And we're still not to the three quarters point. So that's at least we got a little bit more we can work with on time get some of these lines back to set up for uh, any future units to come on we we almost got this one completely killed he's under 10 the general still trying to slowly make his way over to run down the rest of the other he got over there I'm for uh, fast forward in time a little bit he did get over there run him down now I'm under chase from a um, cav that came out of the fort so my slow as heck general is uh, slowly running back to his men, which is actually a big time positive for us. 
um, as we see the next two units are coming on from the routing line infantry. Okay, I did get my general to safety. Thank goodness for that. And we should get a great volley in. Maybe, or maybe not. But, at any rate, most important thing is uh, getting these two lines killed off quickly. We got four grenadiers that we're going to go running up with, try to get him killed. This cav should get killed off. Um, I don't have any fears of that. We got a couple more line infantry coming over on the wall, so we're looking good there as well. And it's about to be two grenade volleys at once. Got that calf still trying to push past. He's at 95. This is going to take him way down. Look at that. He, he, you can see all the dead there. Took him from 95 to 36 with those two hits. Oh, God. All right, so he's out of there. We're going to try and run him down with the general. Their calves almost gone. Now we can start working down this other line infantry. Try and lob some grenades into him. Try to get my darn line infantry out of there, but he, he took a hit too, but not as bad as their line. At least I don't think. All right, so we got him routed off as well. Got him down to 17 men. Got the other one completely killed off. Now, there is some other units coming in from a different reinforcing location. Remember, there's four spots that they're reinforcing from. And they're not all in the you know, same location. I think all four are from vastly different locations. All right, so coming in off to our right, two artillery pieces coming in. So we're using solid shot with the Housers to shoot them. Got one artillery killed off there. The Housers using the solid shot are actually fairly accurate. As you can see here, we've uh, got this one started wavering. And uh, he's gonna get at least three of those units in. I got him down to one gun if he gets away. Ooh, I got all of them, okay. So two artillery pieces completely wiped off. You can see there's another artillery piece that just popped up onto the mini-map, and I believe it's in the same location. There he is. He is coming in from the same direction as the other ones came. So that should be an easy enough unit for us to kill. We got a uh, pretty smallish unit coming at us. I think it's a artillery piece that lost its guns, maybe. All right. We're about to start shooting at this uh, other artillery. I just want him to get far enough in. And you can see we're we're whittling down the time. We only got like about a quarter of the time left. But on this artillery, I want him to get far enough in our, our window of uh, artillery range that once I start shooting him, if I only hit one, I got plenty of time to hit the other two guns to kill him off unfortunately this one line here is uh not coming all the way up on the walls so he's a little more difficult to get to all right he's plenty far enough in this is about where we killed the other two guns got an immediate hit he's down to one see if we can get the other we did not so he got away okay we're at basically a 16th of the time left. So we're not gonna make it here because there is, we got quite a few of them wavering, but you can see there's still too many left. I mean, we could assault the fort, but with this line infantry that we have, I, I mean, we're not gonna make much of a difference. I think we'd be better off trying to kill off these lines coming in because I know I can kill them off to 100 with our cav running them down or general running them down so that's what we're going to do because i can make the most impact worst thing is most likely i'm going to lose this battle i mean it's pretty com i'm pretty confident we're going to lose the battle but at least we're going to kill off as many of these massive amounts of stacks that the uh, uh the polish had here i mean frankly i think we've killed 
uh, a massive amount. So we'll, we'll see what the damage ends up being after it's all said and done. Wish I would have moved that general over a little closer. Already got one wavering. He's going into square, which is excellent. We got him completely 100% trapped in. The time is almost gone. So we gotta, we gotta hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. We're almost there to the end of this, guys. I mean, it's like a little smidgen of uh, time. So we gotta hustle, hustle, hustle. We got him wavering. You need to start running down. Of course, I got a cab coming out. Okay, got one broke. Gotta get after this other one, man. Still got quite a bit of men there, too. Over 60 men. Actually, that was me that broke. Dag nabbit. Can't even tell because of the flags. Like, he took me way down. God, that's horrible. I couldn't even tell that was me. That completely ended up being a disaster. Although we are getting some decent enough hits there. And of course, I didn't even get to run him down after he wavered. Okay, so we only lost 289. They lost 26 uh, and some change. So I think that's pretty good. We whittled them down really well. Um, there is... Uh, Another whole reinforcement army that didn't even come on the field there. That little smidgen one was about seven or eight units in that stack. And we got another one. This is a full strength uh, four units stack. And um, yeah, if I can, I'm going to take that army and go and siege Poland right again because it should be a lot easier to take them now with as many men as we killed off. All right, here's the Ottomans who have uh, taken over Venice. Venice the Menace. All right, our army is going for the kill. Bringing over the new recruits. And we're gonna bring in just a little bit more reinforcements, not to do overkill here, here but to do overkill. We're gonna go ahead and siege that out since I don't have housers there. And with this army, we can either go straight for Poland, which we're gonna do path was blocked but we're gonna go ahead and hit them and they still got about 2500 men that we gotta um eat through and but we'll we'll go back up there and check that situation out in just a minute all right we can actually cross over into morocco finally so we're gonna get doing that now that we have uh, a little bit of naval presence here in this area so we're gonna take morocco without any real resistance we lost 70 taking it and auto resolve take that every day and uh so morocco ends up coming into our possession so we're we're feeling really good about our situation here really really darn good um we can now start sweeping across uh, North Africa, which will be really helpful as we uh, can sweep into the uh, Ottomans around Egypt and then just keep coming up into them. And by that time, we should have uh, Grinzers ready to rock and roll. And then we can be pushing from across Europe into uh, the Ottomans as well, hit them from two fronts. All right, here comes the next Battle of Poland. Um, yeah, like I said, they still got three reinforcement armies, a lot of them are artillery. So even though the numbers are 
quite uh, quite a bit lower than the last time. Uh, a lot of that is because of the artillery. All right, so we're already set up. We already got one unit routed out. And we are setting the artillery up, ready to rock and roll. And we'll see where all these reinforcement units start trickling in from. But I've got a pretty good layered defense, so I'm feeling pretty confident about my, uh, uh, my situation here. And this is going to take a little bit of time, so we'll do some editing for your viewing pleasure. So we can rock and roll right up to the, uh, the good juicy parts, if you will. All right, so we got like a little smallish, very smallish unit coming on as a reinforcement. That's uh, one of the ones we beat up a little bit, but he kind of got away. So, yeah, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. We, we have smaller manpower that we're going up against, but a lot, you know, pretty much the same amount of units. So this is going to take a lot of time. You can see here comes some more teeny weeny units or artillery all right look at them they're all coming across me like this we'll start hitting them here got the artillery down to two guns but he's routing off we'll see if we can get the other ones before he gets oh nice hit double hit there so now on to the next one we got one gun look i'm telling you the solid shot with howitzers is just so accurate got him so again, we're gonna let them get into range as much as possible. So that way, if they if we hit one and he starts running, we got time to get the others. Got him. I mean, this is it's just you can't beat it, man. Houncers are just too good. I mean, that's a hundred percent kill here. Boom. I mean comes in a general's bodyguard and there goes the general's bodyguard uh, I got a little anxious on this artillery started hitting them probably a little bit too soon slow it down a little bit we've been going and fast forward quite a bit here we'll see if we end up killing off this uh, artillery before he makes his way off he's down to one gun looks like he's gonna get away can't win them all, right? All right, so the first uh, pikeman is coming for his uh, dosage of uh, punishment. Damn near point blank shots. And he's had enough. Let's see if we can run him down. We got him down to 75 men ish before he routed. Oh, speaking of 75, there's a unit with 75 over there. I didn't even plan that one out. All right. So we got a cavalry unit that came in behind me while I was paying attention to other things. So obviously we want to get this guy taken care of before he starts getting into some of our artillery, which looks like we're going to be able to do. But there is a general's bodyguard coming in behind us. We'll see if we can get set with the Grenadiers before he lays into us. We got this uh, line of infantry over here we got to take out as well. All right, so we're, I mean, we're taking out quite a bit of them. He keeps moving. It's like he's, he's determined to make my life hard. Okay, going in for a grenade run. 
basically I want him to keep shooting my line. Okay. Grenades are being chunked. Second group of grenades going. He's starting to waver. Got my general over there running down some fools. I got to bring him back over to run these fools down. Whew. I'm telling you, that that took him down pretty good. He's down in the 30s. I think it was. All right. Moving on, we're starting to address some of these guys on the walls. These, these guys kind of like hanging out below the walls here. I'm trying to push up to get some shots on them since they're outside the fort. See if I can route them before they uh, climb back up the ropes. But they've already started ascending the, the ropes to get back onto the, the ramparts there. Now, it seems like we're doing pretty good, but you can see there's still, what, there's like three or four units over there on the right hand of the side of the, of the fort. We still got these five units here, although three of them are wavering. Um, two others are still there, and then there's another unit on the walls coming over to the center, which is good because he can die. Then there's three more reinforcing units that are just coming in to the fort. Another three outside the fort. So, yeah, it's quite a few of them here. Luckily, the best part is we did get one unit that we pushed up for. So one unit did not make it in the fort. The other one did. So 50% on the results of uh, trying to keep them from getting into the fort. Of course, we'd love 100%, but that's just not always going to be the case. So we can continue to use artillery on them. All right, these uh, dudes are all heading for the for the protection of their walls, but stupidly going up to the walls. All right, so there's. Uh, some more coming in let's get set up for that he's coming right for my units here which is actually really good he's getting some nice shots into him got the general trying to run him, uh, some of these guys down the cab did get into my uh, one of my artillery let's get him back on the guns so we can start getting some work done on these guys on the walls as well with that one okay both of those units are grenadiers that we routed I'm trying to get them completely gone but most importantly we want them under 10 since these are reinforcement units if we do get them under 10 they won't be back on the campaign map the unit will be gone. So, we should be able to accomplish that goal. The next goal is try to get rid of as much of this infantry as possible. So I'm bringing one line infantry over here next to the wall to see if we can draw more of them up. And if I throw ropes up, hopefully they'll start kind of clamoring towards um, trying to block me from getting up on the up there on their level all right so we got after all that we did get one unit coming out down the ropes at us so we're going to be able to kill him off and we did get another two units killed off that came out of the fort as well. Uh, looks like the rest of these units, although they're battered up still from uh, some of the shots and damage we've been hitting them with the artillery, um, they are starting to make their way onto the wall for the rest of their punishment. And the other ones in the background back there are just still hanging off back there in the distance. This guy's only got 39. We already got him to th under 20. 
I mean, in the 20s. That one's down to 46. They're coming at me. They're still coming off the uh, walls at me, which is just awesome. We're just over three quarters of the way into the battle. So you can see the length of time that this is taken and this battle is just it's been uh it's been it's been an adventure let's just say say it as nice as we can all right so he's had enough he's hitting the hills there's a there's more coming off the uh, the walls i don't know if it's one of these units already out but also at this moment i like to take a moment to say thank you to our channel members thank you for your support it goes a long way to help this channel continue to put out the content that uh, we are able to put out if you uh, do want to consider becoming a channel member um, you can also do so by joining the channel and you are going to receive early access to videos like this and also uh, at times I do put out exclusive content uh, for members only so if that is something you'd be interested in then uh, click that join button Otherwise, we also do appreciate those of you that do subscribe to the channel. It does keep you notified of future content. Man, we have almost got them completely gone here. I think it's almost to that point where we can start uh, getting up on the walls. We're, we got plenty of time, so time's not really going to be a factor in this. Because all their reinforcements have come onto the field at this point. Okay, and, and the reason I'm running these guys down with my general, again, so most of the ones that are on the uh, battlefield now are all reinforcement or, uh, units. All right, so we got our uh, units making our way to the gate. Got one unit going up the walls to take the uh, possession of the gate so we can go in the fort. And most of the units in the background back there are artillery. We killed off the last of the infantry over here. So the deed is done, baby. Run them down with the general as they flee the field. And we are taking the center. So the countdown shall begin for our possession of Poland. We'd just like to take this time to also th say thank you to Poland for being so ridiculously dumb in this defense of your capital. All right, almost there. Stay on target. Nice. All right, there it is, guys. Poland falls to us. All right, so the good news is with Poland falling, or Warsaw falling to us, that means it's going to make it ever more difficult for Poland to continue to start recruiting up units to send over to Hungary. So Hungary's not completely out of the woods yet. We haven't had a siege, at least in a couple episodes here, I think, uh, of Hungary, which is, is a record. I mean, it's freaking a record because we've had, I think, at least one siege of Hungary almost every episode. Seems like it anyways. Uh, uh, some of them we had two siege battles in hungary so anyways making the next intern we're going from 1741 to the winter of 1741 the nations of the world keep whittling down these interns are becoming a little bit faster all right so poland uh prussia has decided to wake up they're down to just their one region. The fact that they're starting to spread out a little bit is a good thing, especially that they're spreading out in kind of small numbers definitely helps. Means we can kind of take them down in piecemeal. Poland's still got a pretty healthy uh, size unit uh, or unit, uh, healthy size stack, even though they're all beat up units inside that stack. They still have quite a few units in Hungary, and Russia is coming. The Russians are coming. 
Sweden, we, we don't have to worry about them. They can't get past uh, our blockade. At least, can't we don't believe they can. We gotta fight this battle to find out. All right. Uh, I went ahead and fought that battle. It was quite long. It was like almost an hour. Um, but we did end up winning, and uh, I didn't get all the ships. I think one got away. But that ended up putting quite a bit of money in our pocket there. So we're not making as much as we had been. Because we only got 9000 That's with the money we had grabbed up from that naval battle. And I did sink quite a few of those ships, too, if I'm not mistaken. Don't want to go back and look at the results, even though I do have the ability to do it. Since I'm... I'm just that kind of guy. But... Yeah, with editing, anyway. But, um... Okay. So, with tech, you can see I've got eight turns, and then we'll start being able to recruit light infantry and then after that we can start working towards um building up to get grinzers with our uh you have to do the rifleman technology to get grinzer so we're, we're right there we're almost there the fun will start as we get the jaegers and then the, uh, the fun gets even better when we get grinzers so you, you got to stick through the campaign to get to that because it's going to be wild we're going to we're going to go to uh, some grinzer stacks and uh, take over the world with uh, with our Grinzers and maybe some light Dragoons as support. That's that's just fun times there, guys. Okay, so we we've got to fight this uh, um, battle to take back Venice. But we're, like I said, we're gonna wait, let them sally out to whittle them down that way we we're in a we're in a patient mood very patient so we're gonna wait here and try to get ourselves situated before we start pushing on with uh taking back the south here as the russians have grabbed up some of our land as you can tell but, yeah, I mean, all the other tech is, is going okay, considering that we had a pretty slow start to getting our technology. Uh, I feel pretty good about where we're at, although, you know, in other campaigns, you'll know that I have quite a bit more done by 1740. Um, but a lot of that's due to the fact I can really only put uh, two universities in Austria. Because otherwise I won't make the money. Prussia, I, I can just, I can build up three. Sometimes I build four in Prussia. Or Brandenburg, that is. France, you can build quite a bit as well. I mean, typically I only build like three universities. Because more than that, it's kind of overkill. Frankly. Because you are going to start hurting your economy. You know, you're going to have that trade-off by not building those uh, universities. I mean, by building the universities and not building uh, economic buildings, you're going to have that trade-off. So, But you do also gain money from getting through the tech as well. So, All right, we got a big old stack of Russians coming to party. And a pretty good three-quarter stack as well. And they're sending the rest of that, uh, another third there. So they're coming with some uh, some intensity, the Russians are. Now we'll see if they can put that intensity to good use. Meaning, will they just camp out like the Ottomans? Or are they going to get to some action like the Polish Lithuanians have been doing. Obviously, I prefer them to get after it like the Polish Lithuanians. All right, we're only making 62 a turn. We're at 7,700 this turn. And a lot of that is because we have a massive amount of uh, land forces holding down 
all the regions that we are because every front has to be guarded because obviously we're at war with every nation some of these nations have pretty good naval powers like the marathons they can frankly at this point in the campaign you i gotta be on the lookout for uh several fleets with uh stacks of ottoman i mean not ottomans but marathons coming because that could happen i've had it happen where they have a, a fleet coming and then there's like three more coming right behind it <laughs> 